Last of my Paris wins and uh, a very good ride from jockey Grant Van Eekirk who gets this fella home. And uh, not only do they fight on the race course, they fight in the jockey room on the way down to the jockey room as well, but a great relationship between most of you guys. Yeah. This horse has been fairly costly to follow. I don't think he's the easiest customer, is he? Well, Justin was running him over the wrong distance. <laughs> <laughs> but um, he's a horse that does have potential. I'm um, still learning his ways, you know. I honestly thought before he ran, I, th I thought he would be bad one time maiden and probably never win again. But then he won and then he just improved so much. It's amazing how horses just turn the corner. Um, you can think like badly of them or think they don't have the ability you think they have then all of a sudden they turn the corner. That's why sometimes it pays to be patient, you know. Um, very well done to everyone involved, especially to Ravi Naidu. Um, I know it's the Esther Pamblers, the, you know, the Esther Zussers, but um, Ravi's close to my heart. He was here the previous time when I thought this was win, but, you know, he always gets <laughs> disappointed, but this one's for him. Fantastic stuff. Great for, uh, obviously, all these connections because they've got a lot of horses, so it's lovely when they get ones. I know, that's the best. Uh, that's why, uh, you know, racing is where it is at the moment because of people like this, and you want to repay them with, with these good wins and, you know, just keep them happy. <laughs> Brilliant. Grant, well done. Excellent. Let's head back to Alistair Cohen, who's going to be chatting to Justin. Thanks very much indeed, Grant Squared. Here's Justin Snaith, the winning trainer of Master of Paris, first and 30th for Snaith Racing. Justin, I actually think you've done an unbelievable job with this horse, because when I always talk about it, the start of his career was ordinary. Um, Trend like you with as many horses and nice horses you got probably would have been tempted, let's get rid of him, but you knew that there was an avenue to, to explore. Well, look, at this is one of the few horses that I have that can run in a class five, which ends today. Sadly, I don't think he'll qualify. Between my brother and Justin Vermark, they've cleaned me out of every class five horse that I have, or low rated horse. So <laughs> this is the only one, and well now Prime Venture will be my last one that can run in a class five. So. Um, I suppose it's a good thing. You'd rather have horses in group ones, not class fives. But this horse has been such a fantastic horse as he's improved and uh, just really well done to Pamela, Neville, uh, Ravi, uh, to the whole Mitchell family. Rachel's having a birthday party. So um, Nancy, try keep Jenna out of the jacuzzi. And uh, I hope this will certainly be good fun for them. Uh, they're having a whole big birthday party at their house. So. You're not going to elaborate on that story, are you? No. <laughs> I just hope my wife doesn't get in the jacuzzi, but yeah. Um, all good. Uh, just very happy. As, as you said, just a lovely looking individual uh, and uh, great to, to, to just keep on improving. But as I said, now he does have to step up. There is a competition I see that was going on for class five horses. It's like a hundred thousand rand bonus and I saw he was at the top of the list and I had him in the paddock for a bit of a break and I said hey come <laughs> fetch that horse in the grass come bring him back <laughs> before he goes to another trainer <laughs> yeah. so uh, they won't be moving this one so I'm all right I'm <laughs> um, just quickly third horse looks like he's on an upward curve yes uh, he's a horse as I said in this sort of division he'll certainly um, be competitive next time I thought uh, Craig gave him a beautiful ride how much do you enjoy this time of the year when you've got balls to juggle you've got sales coming up you've got just very good string in Durban a couple of horses obviously running all over the country whether it's Joe Big PE and obviously home base here how, it's busy but how much do you enjoy it no I, I don't think um, you know it, it is very busy my, my evenings are pr programming planning uh, I don't think people sometimes get the when you're traveling with horses how complex it actually is and how difficult it is I think some provinces just take it for granted oh horses are going to arrive and uh, uh, the local trainers complain you don't know how hard this is that uh, and and the the stress and the effort that goes into traveling horses around the country but i'm very confident of a big natal season uh, i think we've planned it correctly and uh, i'm literally the only visitor there so that certainly does help so uh, looking forward to a good season there and then who's your next best today it looks like obviously a few runners nothing that jumps off the page but it could be a good day I think Prevalence is, is, is a horse that's going to run a big race today. He's got no excuse. He's been so close so many times. Inamore is quite short. It's a very strong field. That That has got to be one of the strongest little divisions that I've seen. So hope for a good run from him. Groovejet, I think punters must follow. Watch this horse run today. He's a horse that's come from a window. He's got huge ability. If the breathing's good, uh, just keep an eye on him. If he doesn't win today, I think he'll improve and is certainly one to follow. And Golda Greenland as well. Gelded Greenland, horses to follow, guys. Don't, don't, don't leave them out. Well done. Great, thank you. Thanks to Justin Snaith for all of that information, all of those stories. And Master of Paris has now got career win number two under the belt. Let's go to see her and find out more about the groom.